My name is Jordan and welcome to Gamer Sheet. Today we're going to do an unboxing of Villainous Evil Comes Prepared, starring with different Disney villains. If you haven't played um, Disney's Villainous before, it's a game where you play as different Disney villains. This is their second e expansion that we have here. You get Reagan, Scar, and Yzma, and Kevin and I haven't played this since Gen Con last year, and I'm so glad that we got this game. But enough talking, let's crack this thing open and see what's inside. Okay, so we have the box right here with um, Scar right up front. And we flip it over and it shows you what other villains there that there is. Like I said, there's Radigan from The Great Mouse Detective and Yzma from The Amper's New Groove. So, yeah, and of course there was a sticker here, but Kevin already took it off. So, let's see what's inside. Okay, this is going to be... These boxes are always hard to open for some reason. Come on. Open, you stupid thing. Come on. I guess the box is not prepared to be open. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the other tapes. Never mind. <laughs> I didn't notice there were other tapes on there. That's why it wouldn't open. Okay. Yeah. There we go. Let's try this again. <laughs> Having that kind of date. There we go. Like I said, it was not prepared to be open. So here's the rule book that has all the rules and all that. And let's put this on the side. And the first thing here is the cardboard that tells you um, different paths for different villains or lo different locations, I should say. Um, but I am really excited because, like I said, Kevin and I haven't played this game since we were at Gen Con last year. I was playing as Scar because um, I like the Lion King. Plus, um, the Lion King, if you guys haven't, didn't know, um, the Lion King is actually is inspired by Hamlet, by Shakespeare, in case you guys didn't know. That's why I picked Scar. So here is Scar and the locations you have to go to in this round. And then we have Ragan from the Great Mouse Detective, who's also the his story. The story of that movie is inspired by um, Sherlock Holmes, which I also love, and the locations um, for Radigan. And lastly, Yzma from the Emperor's um, New Groove. My favorite character from the Emperor's New Groove is Crunk, which is her ally, but he also has a a twist on it, and there's the locations for Yzma's realm. And of course, in this um, bag here, that, that what's interesting is Ragan actually has two different um, goals if one goal fails. And that's what's unique about um, Ragan when we play this game, because um, this side has his original, and if you flip it, oh, he's so mad. So, yeah, that's what's unique about Racket. And, of course, these are the um, pamphlets that tells you how to play these villains and actually how to win as these villains, which is nice. Like all the other Disney villains, they have the same guidelines. And, of course, they're very useful when you play the game. And, of course, these cards have them in all the villainous Games that tells you what these symbols represent, like Game Power, or Play a Card, or Vanquish. All villainous games comes with that. And these different decks. Which one I do want to pick? I'll just pick Ragan, because he's the closest. And like Kevin said in one of his other unboxing videos, they have these little tabs that, that you can just rip around and open. And the downside is you have to find its little... Um, Slip. Okay, this is not, does not want to be open. I'm gonna, no, I don't want to ruin the cards. Up. Oh, yeah, I think I found a uh, my jigs to open it. Um, if I can get it open. Uh, yeah, I kind of got it. Nope. Nope, it doesn't want to come off. Uh, let's try this again. If it actually come off. Not going the other way, so ugh, okay. Um, maybe it's this way. Nope, it shows. I can 
See us digging out this way. Uh, this card's being stubborn. And I... Um, oh, there we go. I got it. Yeah, I can see Kevin struggling in his last unboxing video. So these cards just don't want to be out of the plastic. Okay, so here we go. It can just slide out. And of course, this is what Raggins... Um, deck look like you have his sidekick um, bad you have his top hat you have his um, blimp I think that's the um, the balloon thing I um, that they have and then um, Big Ben because it takes place in England and London England specifically and it has the gears for the clock shower so I really like these um, each villain has their own designed deck, and of course the other side has their fates to stop the villains. And of course you got Toby here, um, Basil's dog, and then you have Flabbersham, um, the toy maker, and then you have um, Call for Help. Um, you have Sabotage as Basil is stopping Radican, and then Queen's Guard, which they have, and then you have Mrs. Judson, Dawson. Um, and then you have the balloon, and, and then Basil himself, and and then you have the, the Queen Mouse, which I honestly think they made her name as a pun to Queen Victoria, like the Queen Mouse Toria or something like that. I can't remember. There's Olivia, Sabotage, and then there's his villain deck, which I do like. I really love the artworks of this game because it's almost like they popped out of the scenes from the movies. And of course, you have his allies and you have his items, which are the gears to make the robotic queen mouse. Um, the list, um, more gears, the marvelous trap to stop Basil. And you have the Airship, that's the word I was looking for. Um, Fidget, his bad sidekick. The robot, what, what's unique about the robot queen is she costs a lot to to get. So you have to collect a lot of power to get. And of course, the great criminal mind. Um, capture, and more, more gears. You're going to need a lot of gears to make that robot. And, and then there's... Bartholomew, um, I did not know he had a name in the movie. I literally thought he's just called the drunk rat. But, and then you have royal robes, um, the bell to use to, I'm guessing, to um, bring out his cat, which is Felicia, I think that's her name. Um, some more gears, the marvelous trap uniforms for his minions to dress, disguise as. Yep, Felicia, that's what I thought, that's her. Or his cats, excuse me. Um, um, devi um, devious. And then it's extravagant, which is when he's on top of the jewels. More allies. Tools, of course, to make the robot. And and that's all of Radigan's deck. And I'll show you his um, figure, which is very unique. It's just his top hat, his cloak, and his rat tail, even though they want everybody to call him a mouse instead of a rat when he's actually a rat. So that is um, Rackin's deck. So next we have is Scar's deck. Hopefully these, I don't know, I really get Kevin's struggle with these decks. They don't, they just don't want to get open. So, and I play, like I said, I played S Scar when Kevin and, I, Kevin and I were at Gen Con with his Dad, ah, come on, you stupid. Okay, I got it. It much quicker than Radigan's deck, which is very sad. Okay, so so here is Scar's deck, which has um, his face, obviously his paws, um, the hyena, one of the hyenas. I'm guessing that's Ed, um, elephants skeleton and then um the stampede i forgot what those wallaby bees i think that's what the animal is called that um 
kill Mufasa, but let's go through um, Scar's um, deck. I know Kevin's laughing at me in the background right now. <laughs> um, yeah, so we have Simba, Timon, Zazu, Hakuna Matata. Of course, you have to have something with Hakuna Matata in the Fate deck. Um, the Prophecy, um, Pumbaa, more Hakuna Matata, Nala, Rafiki, Prophecy, Mufasa. Of course, you had to defeat Mufasa with um, Scar, um, Sarabi, more Prophecy, and <laughs> I almost forgot that in the d Fate deck, Rafiki stick, which he used in the movie. Oh my gosh, that scene in the movie. Make me laugh. And Hukuma Tata. That's all of Scar's fake deck. So now we are going through his villain deck. So Injustice, um, Long Live the King, The Whisper, um, Hungry Hyenas. He does have a lot of hyenas in this deck because they're the only allies that he has. So be prepared. I do really like this as an artwork because Be Prepared is an awesome villain song in my opinion and I and I found out that this specific green is Dizzy Villain's signature color. So yeah and then you have Banzai, Pride, um, Feeding Frenzy, um, stick with me and it has all the three hyenas that appear in the movie, um, more hungry hyenas, Stampede, Pride, um, Shenzi, Ed, and of course, the actor who voices Ed is um, Jim Cummings. Yeah, he's like one of the most famous um, voice actors. Um, Hungry Hyenas, more Stampede, more Hungry Hyenas, more Injustice. Yeah, like I said, there's a lot of hangry, not angry, hungry hyenas in this deck. So yeah, that's all of Scar's deck. And of course, here's his figure which I do like because it's almost like shaped like him but it's like in fire which I really like about it and then have the elephant's um, tusks underneath in this figure so I really like that but now use my stack hopefully I'll have shorter time to um, get her deck um, open like I did with scars but like I said these Decks do not want to be open. Oh, yep, I got it a lot quicker than the other two. So, just let me get the plastic out of the way. And here is Yzma's deck. And I do like how they stick with purple because she dresses in purple all the time in a film. And then, of course, you have that llama symbol from the, um, the vial that she used for poison for um, um, Cusco and you'll have Cusco's palace and um, that thing that she rides up when Crack was carrying her around in the woods. So let's go through her fate deck. There's Pacha on the run and that scene is really fun. I could not stop laughing every time and Kevin and I just watched Amber's New Groove recently. Um, Beware of the Groove, Cusco, Run Lever, oh my gosh. I I can't believe that there's a gif of it on the internet. And that makes me laugh every time. And um, Peasant, okay, that's what it says. I'm trying to read upside down. Beware of the Groove, Peasant. Um, Chicha, I think that's how Pacha's wife's name is pronounced. Please correct me if I did. Um, the Path of Righteousness, which is one of the mini crunks says an uh, angel. Um, beware of the groove. Um, Tipo, um, Bucky, of course, he's a really funny squirrel. Um, Checha, I can't, I can't pronounce her, her, Pacha's daughter's name, um, but she's funny. Wrong lever, and that's all of Yzma's de um, fate deck. Um, and now we're on her villain deck. Um, uh, eavesdropping, um, finished a job, right hand man. Um, what is that word? Um, um, Fiercity, I can't pronounce that word, apparently. Whoop, I dropped some cards there. Um, Beauty Sleep, 
When I saw Yzma looking like this in the movie, I remember as a kid, that literally freaked me out. Um, the, the guards, um, after them, uh, more beauty sleep, um, fake funeral, <laughs> yeah, um, the dagger, yeah, that's kind of, that scene was funny, um, smash it with a hammer, of course, that was part of Yzma's original plan, um, after them, um, more guards, and there's Kronk, he's actually my favorite character from, from this movie, because he's funny, um, the path that rocks that, yeah, um, the, um, what's that word, superality, yeah, superality, um, uh, cruel irony, yeah, that, that's also funny, um, smash with a hammer, more guards after them, Purity, ferocity, eavesdropping, finish the job, hand man, fake funeral. Yeah, that's Yzma's um, deck. And so, of course, I'm me showing you her figure, which is basically her outfit in a vase. And that's what it looks like um, to me, but she, but she's still cool. Um, and then you're given as fake tokens like I'll show you the I'm not gonna show you the power coins because there's so many and plus I don't want to clean up the mess so here's the um, fake token that you use because um, in the actual game uh, villainous once you draw a fake card you mark that on that player because they are not allowed to be faded unless another player gets faded and these are the um, power tokens that you use throughout the game so yeah, just need to put everything back in order. And Yzma goes first, because ladies first. I'm going to put Fate deck underneath her villain deck. Same as with Mr. Scar himself. I need to get his villain deck on top of the Fate deck. And then I forgot how... Um, okay, that's how Dragon's figure ends up inside, um, putting his villain deck on top of his fate deck, there we go, need to put these, um, guides and cards back, same as Ragan's objective card thing, and I get that in, all the villain's realms, Cards, the rule book, and yeah, there is that is villainous evil comes prepared. So well, well, we had Disney's villainous evil comes prepared. So Kevin and I are not gonna do a how to play video because we already shot um the the main game of villainous on on this channel. But we'll leave the link to the playlist down below so you guys uh, learn how play it but hopefully we will play um these expansions in the future on this channel but for right now if you want to learn how to play villainous we'll leave the um in the description down below and if you enjoyed this unboxing video give us a thumbs up and um click the subscribe button and click the bell icon so be notified whenever we post new vi videos like how to play videos gameplay videos or more unboxing videos etc et and we want to and be on the lookout on the next video, whatever that might be. But until then, thanks for the views.